Hey guys, so uh, this video is made with the assumption that you guys have seen uh, Avalon Universe's Crisis on Infinite Excaliburs. Uh, if you haven't, go watch it. It was a great film. Uh, and it's something that I have been sitting on for about a month and a half, I think. Um, or two months, give or take, like somewhere along that. Um, and... Uh, since Josh sent me the very first rough cut, um, I have been doing a lot of soul searching. Um, so about a year and a half ago, I retired from my own personal fan films. Um, I haven't made, uh, any con star films uh, in a year and a half, I walked away from them to focus on my family um, and my health. Uh, my health, uh, my blood pressure was through the roof. Um, my weight had uh, blown up uh, a lot, not, not, not in good shape. Um, so I, I stepped away from fan films to focus on, on the important things. Um, I did, however, uh, agree to continue to help um, my friends um, with their projects. Um, rather, it would be a small cameo that I could film in my studio here on the weekend um, when I had time at my own leisure or, um, writing, uh, you know, a small film, you know, in my own time, but something that was very, uh, something that wouldn't take up a lot of my time, rather, you know, for producing, directing, acting, uh, scouting locations, getting the costumes, you know, doing the cinematography, uh, you know, doing everything in the production that I was doing with the Constar stuff, you know, uh, scaling way back, um, but still somewhat keeping my foot in the uh, fan film world. Um, so it was a way to honor the uh, retirement promise and focus on the right things, my health, my family, and still help those that I you know, I always felt a moral obligation to, um, cause I had always wanted to give back to the community. Um, I made a career out of doing that, um, ever since I started this, um, exactly 10 years ago. Um, ironic that it was exactly 10 years ago. Um, December 10th, um, I think we're one day shy of that, uh, December 10th, uh, 2013 is when I started, and now it's December 9th, 2023, um, but I watched the rough cut of the Crisis on Infinite Excaliburs about a month and a half ago, two months ago, and I saw the the one thing that I asked Josh to give me in appearing in this film which was I want Menard to have his happily ever after and that was I want him to have his wife I want him to have his son I want him to, to go walk off with them to his ship the Constar I want this to be his, his happily ever after, his, his Steve Rogers moment, you know, um, and because it was something I could never really give him in, in my films, because in, you know, I always saw Menard as that tragic character, you know, because that's what I, I really know how to write, and I wanted him to, I wanted the character um, to get that happy ending. And after I saw it in context of the film, um, I was moved. Um, 
and it was a very personal experience for me. Um, now, of course, when I went and shot with Josh, I, I shot two films. I shot Christ's Son of Excalibur, and then I shot uh, a film after that that takes place called uh, um, The Wants and Future Captain, um, which I have a very small part in that. I won't spoil it for anybody. Um, but for me, this <clears throat> Crisis on Infinite Excaliburs is, that was it. I, I kind of rushed, you know, I went to the projects that I had in, uh, purgatory <laughs> or whatever you want to put it, you know, um, and I, I rushed them out so that we could get them out. So this could kind of be the, Hey, I'm done. Um, I, I don't want to do any more cameos, uh, for people. And it's not a, um, it's not an ego thing. It's not a, you know, I'm angry or I'm bitter and I hope nobody takes it that way. It's, uh, w once I see, you know, once I saw that, uh, send off, it, I felt completely creatively satisfied um, 10 years into this you know my own films retired um, and seeing this happy ending for my character um, I'm done everything fan film wise um, I'll make my film with my son because that's something he wants to do but that's if it never reaches YouTube I'm fine with that it's it's a personal project the the film I'm doing next year with him uh, the little con star film we're doing um, but that's that's a father-son project that I'm doing with him but as for the, the cameos and the assists on the other projects I I no longer feel like I need to help um, or, or do cameos or um, I think that time of my life is over uh, for fan films um, and I, I see, you know, the one thing I wanted to do was always, um, I made the career out of helping other fan filmmakers, you know, bring others together and, and share each other's resources and uh, bring the community together. And I, as I look at Josh, he's doing that with so many other people on a much higher level, you know, um, and I'm seeing so many creative people come together and work together and... And I feel like that's, I feel like I had a small hand in that, you know, and I feel like I, you know, I feel like that's my legacy. And I feel like I don't need, I feel like I don't need to be there anymore, you know, and I feel like watching Crisis on Infinite Excaliburs, I feel, I feel like this is the, the end. Um... And it's, it's, it's with love that I say that, you know, I, I feel like I can now walk away and everything's going to be okay with fan films, you know, uh, hey Neelix, hey buddy, um, you know, uh, people in fan films are working together on so many projects, um, I'm not needed, you know, uh, and I feel like it's okay to walk away, um, on every front. So I wanted to let you guys know, uh, I wanted to talk with you guys and I wanted you guys to hear it from my voice, um, that when you watch Crisis on Infinite Excalibur, when, when Menard walks away with his family, like that's, that's very symbolic of of this. Um, to me, it, it it touched me spiritually, um, and that was. I mean that it that's something you know. Josh gave me something that I can't put into words. Um, it impacted me in ways that I can't I can't thank him enough for. You know, um, not many people get to go through life and do 
fan films. Not many people get to go through life and do something that they feel creatively satisfied. And hey, guys, stop. <laughs> Dogs. Um, but I've I've gotten to do that and to see everything come to completion and to be able to walk away and say, all right, I'm good. Um, you know, um, I'll always have my foot in fan films, you know, um, by being friends with everybody and, you know, but, um, I'm not needed and they'll do just fine without me. And, uh, there's nothing but love from me, um, but I I wanted to, to tell you guys um, um, you know I guess that's really all I had to say um, but uh, and I know there's there's going to be those haters out there that uh, will sit there and say oh he's you know, he always says he's retiring he always says this you know and you know I, honestly those fucking assholes they don't know me worth nothing you know and they're gonna say what they're gonna say I, I you know whatever you know um you don't know me um and I have no interest in knowing you um but those people that know me know uh what I go through uh know my heart um this video is for you and I felt that I owed you uh some type of explanation um, and I felt that you needed to, to hear it from me instead of a Facebook post you know and, and left at that you know a vague post um, but I mean and, and, and the type of guy that Josh is like he put me as a producer on Crisis on Infinite Excaliburs and I didn't even know it I mean I, I watched the movie a million times and I saw that this morning and <laughs> I was brought to tears because I don't feel like I deserved that credit, you know, but he's always giving credit, you know, um, to the people who he feels deserves it. And for me, I, I have been blessed with some really fucking cool people in my life. You know, Glenn Wolf, Alec Peters, Josh. Dan Reynolds, Michael King, George Kyan, Frank Parker, Gary Davis, Randy Wren. Um, I mean, the list goes on. I, I mean, I know I'm forgetting tons of people, and I forgive me if I have, but I wouldn't be who I am without you guys. And you guys have carried me through a lot. And I felt that I owed you guys, you know, um, I'm sorry if I've disappointed anyone from not doing future cameos um, or not assisting in future productions, but like I said, when I saw that, um, when I saw Christ on Infinite Excalibur, that rough cut a couple months ago, I I knew it was time to to be done with with everything. It was it was the time to walk away when Menard leaves. It, it it was the proper send off. There's no better way to leave everything, you know. Um, so anyway, with that being said, um, I want everyone to be genuine, be safe, and keep on geeking on, guys.